It's action. Uh, rolling. 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 There's nothing actually rolling. There's nothing rolling. Yeah. Except yeah. your fucking eyes. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Click, click, click. What's good, you creeps? You As the, you can tell, you unscripted. Get unscripted. Unscripted, as fuck. unscripted podcast. <laughs> Fucking eighty-five percent of your stuff is about murder. <laughs> about murder. That's fair because our listeners love yeah. fucking murder. <laughs> Hit them up with the Gmail. You can send us an email with your suggestions, comments, or concerns <laughs> at based on true events podcast at gmail dot com. Boom. What's well, good, man? At least once every episode, I'm going to look at the camera with a weird face just to <laughs> just like fuck with you. It's, like it's not really there to like fuck with our, our, our listeners <laughs> or anybody that would watch on YouTube. It's just really more to, when you're editing and having to go through it. I'm just going <laughs> to look at like, the camera and be like, this motherfucker. <laughs> I won't edit it though. And then people are going to be like, man, Chef just kept staring at the camera like all weird and, and awkward and, and, and shit. Weird. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh, uh, hey, what's good, man? Y'all have fun at the lake? Yeah, it, was, it, it was, was hot, right? It was hot. Um, I helped build a oh, natural no. dam. Oh, God, dude, uh, you got, you're always building shit yeah, damn, in the heat. In the heat, man. <laughs> there are no projects in the spring or fall. They are only in the in the summer. That's funny. Now, that so they live on a hill because it's at a lake, and um, they're... The way that the hill works is they're dry. the water, when it downpours, rains at all, comes like right through their yard. So we were building like a natural barrier to kind of divert the water as best as possible okay. into the actual places that it should go. But this meant that it, we were out shoveling, building. Would it be safe to say you were busy beavers? Yes. You're building a dam. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. There was no wood. I'm here all night, folks. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm always happy to help them when I can. So. Yeah. Right on. I, I don't think that. There's a lot of times I don't think they give a shit about my help. They're like, uh, you're you're actually slowing the process down more than you're helping. They're like, so. oh, he's trying. Yeah. He's, yeah <laughs> what a team player. Yeah. Yeah, they give me a board and a screwdriver, and they're like, just keep putting screws in this board. Oh, <laughs> it's like actually nothing. It's not going anything. It's, not it's not just moving. to keep, keep the, <laughs> the special kid occupied while, <laughs> while things are going you're on. Like, this isn't even a real hammer. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was light. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just plastic fucking. It's my life. They give you a mallet, a yeah. rubber mallet. <laughs> you know, but I'm proud. I'm proud of what I do. It is what it is. But uh, now, now, I mean, I do get to learn when uh, – yeah, I'm around the uh, father-in-law, he is a jack of all trades. Yeah, I know, man. Like, I I enjoy doing shit around the house. We've talked about it before, so I won't bore people. But like, I do love it when I successfully accomplish something with tools yeah. that I haven't done before, and I'm like, all right, change the light bulb, fucking right, <laughs> three wrenches, <laughs> three of them. <laughs> no, I built a computer desk. Ooh, was it IKEA? No, no, no. Like I've had some wood down in the in oh, the basement, you, you, and I literally like like legit built one. I put a couple legs on a piece of fucking wood, yeah, okay. <laughs> but it stands still okay. and it holds a computer. Yeah. So okay. success, success. I like. Yeah, I like how you. Use. Damn it! You started with the Borat. Yeah, I did that off the air just to see how many times. I know you bleed that's over so addicting. Into, I know into the episode. <laughs> it's bad. Me being a shithead. <laughs> uh, so just to change complete directions. The, the meme that I sent you is, is like probably my favorite meme <laughs> to date of this year. The local Texan pledges to make oh, hundreds yeah. of masks. Yeah, yeah that was very, And that it's leather, very good. Fa- leather face. That was a very good one. I, 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 I guffawed a bit at that. I laughed at j- just a little bit. Guffawed? Okay. Yeah, it's another way. I guffawed. Like it's like a an old timey word for oh. I laughed. I laughed out loud, oh, okay. essentially. It's it's the 1800s version of LOL. Of LOL? Yeah. I guffawed? I guffawed at that. Okay. I guffawed. I'll try to use it, and it's going to be totally fucking wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be like, I went to this funeral. I guffawed. I guffawed. No, no dude. No. That's not walk, right. Walk away. Walk uh, away. Depends on the funeral, yeah, I guess. I guess. Um, so the, the most important news story 
I mean, you, you've broke down aliens are real, mm-hmm. other dimensions, mm-hmm. obviously COVID and, and everything that's going on. But the most important news story of, of 2020 is this. Disney are remaking Home Alone. Yeah, no, I, Dude. I yeah. With and Macaulay they want to use Macaulay Culkin. And they don't, yeah, they, they want him to play his, his nine-year-old, nine-year-old self. And he's 38. And no one, no <laughs> one pointed out. I think that that would be fucking amazing. amazing. Dude. It would be. F- I would fucking. I would go to the theater three times. A hundred percent. Even with all the shit, I'd go in full hazmat suit. But I would go to the theater. Three Imagine times. the. It wouldn't even be like a cult following because everyone would go see it immediately. But then, of course, it would. You know, all. I think there's be a shit ton of younger people that would be like, "Why is this happening? I don't, who's this old dude? Of course, he's not nine. Yeah, like, <laughs> you fucking idiots. Like, why? Are, why is this? Why is this so popular? And yeah. be like, no, no, this is amazing. This was a brilliant choice. Everyone. Dude, I'm telling you, he's got that podcast, Bunny something or whatever, and I've listened to it. He's a funny, he's a weird dude. Yeah, he's oh, definitely yeah. weird. But well, dude, he's 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 gone down some really dark alleys. I think, right, right, life, life wise. Like, I mean, there's I think some it started that, with his parents too. If I well, a lot of it, I think, was was fairly uh, widely publicized. Yeah, um, right. But you know, he's had major issues with drug abuse. And, yeah, yeah. And, you know, rebounded to some degree and. You know, he's still cool as shit in my book, man. I, I think he's funny as hell. You know, some some people are are lucky when they come back from. Uh, I, I feel like anybody who can kind of like you bounce know, back, bounce, or... you know, survive uh, serious addiction issues. You know, that's that's a big thing. Yeah, no, fuck what, yeah. no, no matter what who you are. Yeah, but some people come back. A little changed, a little, a little off. Or... Yeah, and then you know some people just there. There's really no semblance of the old person when right. they come back, and I, I, you know it's you're doing fucking major damage to the body and and the mind. So yeah, it's true. It's kind of understandable, but uh, you know I always take the people who've done that like you know oh we came back from you know this this and yeah. this and you're like yeah man you got your fucking you got your stripes man i'll fucking listen i'll listen to what you gotta say yeah Uh, you're a little edgy and a little weird and and that's to be expected to be expected good for you dude yeah yeah welcome back to the welcome back dude that that just i had to mention that because i saw that and i was like please do that yeah even if that you know they're not gonna really do maybe you did but i saw it again but you might have i'm pretty sure i send you everything yeah i know (laughs) everything in your life has been written by me i you send me so many at a time that i have to like just go hilarious dumb <laughs> holy shit and that's a good episode you yeah, know like yeah. i just in order respond <laughs> there's occasionally like I'll, I'll be on a spree of like sending you things and then i'll get a response from you where you're like um i will i will respond to these in a couple days or like in, an, in me, 12 hours give me time to catch yeah. up <laughs> it's usually i'm at work or, or i'm asleep or in yeah. bed or you know and since i sleep like four hours a day Dude. it's like yeah, I see something sent. And I'm like, that motherfucker's up past like one, and I know you're waking up early. And I mean, I don't know how early since your kid pan- wakes since up. Since pandemic, but... it's like seven seven thirty is my new wake up time. Well, that, so I don't that... have to beat traffic anymore. Right. So I mean, I was getting up at like four thirty five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. What time's your little man wake up? <laughs> seven seven thirty eight o'clock, depending on the, the day. yeah, dude. That's and he oh. goes to bed at eight. So our kid is yeah I know he he sleeping your kid gre- his... greeted me with a cup of espresso when <laughs> right. I walked in the door it hey was legit. hey cheers hey, like two year old what's up man some espresso <laughs> um, no but he's sleeping in his own room now and shit and it's like oh man we're sleeping five good months, at, dude five we're sleeping in. good as fuck dude five months oh wow trust me I know we had some catching up to do but you know I haven't ever experienced that yeah it's big for two years it's and big. it's like oh my god yeah he's got a queen size bed. But I mean, whatever works. It was our guest bed, and we're like, well, in case he doesn't work, we're not gonna buy an, buy him his own bed. Fuck it, we'll put this one in there. Yeah, well, see, not and our, it works. Our kid's still in a crib. Yeah, we're getting ready to take like the the prison scaffolding the, off of it, one side of at it, at some point. But our kid, man, he's he takes after his mom. He like he he disco dances in the bed. Yeah, so he's like <laughs> all over it. Is you he? Know? So he uses every square inch of the bed every night. So so you're dropping it down the floor. So if he rolls out. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, my kid's the kind of kid that he would he would get up in the middle of the night and just start walking around and shit. Like, oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> well, when we first tried meet, to meet put him, greet. when we first tried to put him in the crib, there definitely was that doggy like you know fence or you yeah. know gate that wooden the old wooden ones that are always yeah. a pain in the balls to to close. 
we shut that in the hallway and then his other door, so he was trapped. Yeah. But he wouldn't he would wake up and he would be scared in his crib. Even with the side off, he wouldn't move. Yeah. But for some reason with his bed, he's cool. Except for the 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 camp the uh fucking baby camera. Yeah. Whatever you call it. Um the monitor. The monitor. But like it's got the the circle of death, red lights, and he he's always like just staring right at it. I think we talked about this before. Yeah, actually. yeah. It, it freaks him out. Our, our our baby monitor has got one little green light that flashes on the very bottom, and that is it. Oh, dude. Yeah, ours is literally circles. Yeah, They're all would, red. That would freak me the fuck. It out. looks like a fuck, the eye of Satan. Yeah, it's just like straight up fucking staring. squid eye looking at you all night. Like, straight yeah. up. Like I, I'll, I'll go into bed with him in the morning if he's like kind of fussy or whatever, or waking up, and I'll go in there and he'll just sit there and be like. <laughs> monster because yeah, yeah. he knows monster now and i'm like oh shit yeah but of course i've got like ludo from labyrinth and then a monster that's like i want to hug so he's like friendly monster but this one is not a friendly monster yeah, no i wouldn't imagine so but dude like it's it's for us like it just even though i know he's good and if he has a problem he's gonna he, he oh fuck here's something else he says dad I'm like, you're too, no, daddy, dude. Like, yeah. don't, like, he's like, dad. Uh, I'm like, no way. Yeah. So, Nox, stop that shit. So, like, when Knox wakes up in the middle of the night, the, he does it like once every three months. It's not like regular by any means, but occasionally, like, he'll wake up and he's like inconsolable. But if he wakes up at any point in the night now and he's like upset, even if he goes back to sleep, he screams like, daddy. Oh, shit. Like, I mean, like, that's, over and over, I had to. We were down at the when we were down at the lake. He, dude, we made some poor choices uh, timing wise. Um, and he just he woke up in the middle of the night, and I ended up having to, you know, we had him in a different room, and I had to end up going in and like calming the fuck down, and ended up staying in the, in the other room. Yeah, I don't want to wake up to my kid screaming like my name. Yeah, dad or daddy or yeah. He calls me Josh too though, so that's fucking weird. Does he? Dude, well, Shan taught him that. My pretty, wife taught him that shit. I'm pretty sure that our son calls Ashley Ash. <laughs> like he he'll say mama like when coaxed. Yeah. But I the, I had him in the bathtub one night, and he was like, Ash? Daddy, I was like, Daddy, get Ash. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Well, she, I'm, I know my wife, like, straight up trained his ass. She's like, say, hey, Josh. And so now it's straight up, hey, Josh, more milk, Josh. And I'm like, damn it, dude. <laughs> that is the it's best. hilarious. That is the best thing I've ever heard. Like, <laughs> it's well, funny because he's little, weeks. but if he's old and he calls me Josh, I'm like, we got to fucking nip this now. Yeah, what's he going to call you? Hey, asshole. Hey, ass. That's better than Josh. <laughs> Joshua. Yeah, Josh. Joshua. It's very, very uh, proper. Yeah, Joshua. Could you please change my bum, Joshua? <laughs> oh, kid talk is fun, man. We're going to have some more kid talk here in a moment, right? Yeah. Don't sound so Fuck. enthused. Yeah, man. Fuck this episode. Yeah, Sorry. you guys uh, already know it's coming because we've talked there. about it and you, I'm not you, there you yet, voted man. for it. But, I'm um, not there yet. Do, no. Do the plugs. Do the uh, plugs. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, well, we're not really plugging anything except yeah. our website. Our website. Yeah. So go to boatpodcast.com. Yep. That is our main hub. You can, find, find us everywhere. That's right. Find all the social media links. Go to our Patreon link if you wouldn't mind supporting us. Yep. Every every we don't really talk about this much, but just so you guys know, I think I made a video once, and I'll I'll post it every once in a while. But every penny, the whole point of us doing it, and it was kind of a last resort, will go back into this podcast so that we can up the quality of the videos. Yeah. And well, I don't know if it's audio. a you say last resort like the, the, they're going to shut the lights off like. No, no. <laughs> the podcast is going to continue on no matter at you know, the same level of quality level. Right, right, right. to see improvements. OK, that's fair. In, yeah. in your in the quality of our uh, of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Our, the product that you receive. We're having fun and you guys are supporting the shit out yeah, of us, man, which is we're, so we've been blown away actually the past couple of days, man. It's been awesome. Yeah, well, um, I mean, it's, thank you. It's been steadily going up. I, I wouldn't I mean. I would say that it's been going up even through the fucking pandemic. Yeah. Um, but man, the like the last week it was just like every day it was like, wait, is it's that... been great. Yeah. yeah. I was like, did I miss oh shit, no, that's going up, going up, going up. So yes, thank you. So yeah, and we feel like we should, you know, continue to improve what we're doing. Uh and, and I think the the only way to do that is the Patreon. So Yep. There it is. So yeah, boatpodcast.com. We still got I wrote for boat going. I wrote for boat. Uh then we got your uh, yeah, you uh By the way, I didn't even notice you're wearing the shirt. What yeah. what? what? Represent. Yeah. Sweet. And then uh we've got uh 
you choose, we lose. Uh, yeah. Episode picker. Yeah. Well, tonight Shep loses. Yeah. Dude. Apparently. Fuck. Man. <laughs> Last week, you know, I thought when I first started researching <sighs> the chicken coop murders. If you haven't gone and listened, uh, if you haven't listened, listen to the last episode. When I and I sent you a text, I was like, man, this one's pretty fucking brutal. Yeah. It ended up being more weird. That was just a wild story. But yeah, I yeah. think you actually got drew the short straw where I yeah. thought it was going to be the other way around. Yeah. So, yeah. um, but the whole point is of the right. you, what he's calling the you choose we lose is we give you the the, the, the four su- suggestions and you guys choose the order that we do them and who does them. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I really thought that the chicken coop murders was going to be the <laughs> the one, the, right? The rough I know. One. I did too. I don't know, man. Although we'll this see. is literally called Girl Scout murders. So. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> well, yeah, but it could have been. Girl Scouts killing people. That's you know, if you hadn't researched it, you're like kind of hoping for that. You're, that you're angle. quick on your feet, man. Fucking make something up. Yeah, just, <laughs> just like <laughs> flip the script on them. No, no, it's. Uh, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the story. What it, yeah, it, what it deserves. Yeah, um, right on. So, so uh, yeah, we'll eventually go to Waverly too. Yeah. We haven't talked about that in a while. Sometime in 2024. That's right. We have not season for- 23. <laughs> we have not forgotten. But uh, yeah, we're not in any rush to get out there at the moment. So. I don't know. Um, Some about tuberculosis hospital summer and pandemic. pandemic. Yeah, doesn't it doesn't it seems like the Bermuda Triangle of bad choices. <laughs> yeah, you have chosen poorly. Yeah, yeah. What mistakes have you made with your life? <laughs> you get to the fucking pearly gates and they're like, dude, what, what were you we, thinking? Like, Come on, man. You knew where you were going. Like you knew what was going on. <laughs> Yeah, you, we just had to ask some questions. Opted, yeah. Now you're out. Now but, you're out. Yeah, we just wanted to, we wanted to get your take. Yeah, right. Uh, on the situation as it exists. Yeah, you're definitely not getting in. Yeah, but but we we had some some looming questions. We had bets going on what yeah. the actual true answer was. Yeah, right. You were forced at gunpoint. <laughs> Lots of money was involved. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Moses has death wish. Um, yeah, right. Written so. Yeah, man. So. It is what it is. We'll make it to Waverly, uh, you know. Yeah, eventually. Eventually, we'll yeah. do a field trip episode. Yeah, it'll be fun. So we also maybe, um, maybe, quite possibly have some collabs. Um, some collabs, yeah, yeah. Living in the uh, the shadows. So yeah, stay we, tuned. For, we went back and forth with it, but I think I think that will might, be in our future. We might. I, I think you know. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. So. so. Yeah, we're gonna keep trying some new shit. Yeah. So why not? Why the fuck not? Why not? That's right. <laughs> um, I think that's it, man. Got all the plugs out of the way. I know yeah. you're like, fuck, I just, just keep talking about something so I don't no, have to do no, this. I kind of want to just get this one out of the let's way. Let's pull the Band-Aid off, man. Yeah, I just kind of want to get this one out of the way. I came with notes. Literally, he has a notebook. This is well, 2020, uh, man. Dude, this is it's getting weird. So, Weirder. okay. So, Girl Scout murders, just put that out there. That's the, the topic that I have for the evening. I did a fucking lot of research on this because, I mean, obviously... Child murder doesn't sit well right. as a topic. That's not what I'm saying. But right. like the way this story breaks down didn't sit well with me. So I kept looking for that needle in the haystack. And so I did a lot of research. Like okay. I, I covered a lot of bases trying to, well, I, I want to know what this was and what this was and what this was. And I was picking at that proverbial scab. Yeah. Uh, well, I would expect some, nothing less for from some you. more information. So. Okay, so the Girl Scout Murders is a 40-plus year old cold case, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, How old is the Girl Scouts? I don't even know it went back that... The, seriously? Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I didn't. <laughs> like I was supposed I didn't to have do a knowledge. fucking side bet oh, no. on how old the fucking Girl Scout. But I'm just saying, organization I'm su- is. I was surprised you even said 40 years. Oh, I, yeah, I feel like it would. Well, but... I think a lot of the reason that this is still a cold case is because of that 40 years. Okay. And I'll fucking explain. <laughs> okay. Um but <laughs> anyway. So the look of death I just yeah, got. Dude. I wasn't asking for the answer just so you know. I was just more like <laughs> saying Hold like, on, let me google it. <laughs> and I really You're don't not ca- doing anything. This is your night off. You fucking look it up. No, cuz I didn't really want the answer. Uh, <laughs> I was just I was more making a comment, a rhetorical question I should have said, but I was I didn't realize it was that old is all I'm saying. I didn't want to fucking answer. They're old. They're old. Okay. At first, my brain didn't click right, and I thought you were asking how old the actual hey, Girl so Scouts are. so how old is the Girl Scouts? Because... No, no, I thought you were asking the individual Girl Scouts, oh, like, how old are they? I'm like, are... they're fucking not old, man. They're dead. <laughs> they're young. They're, well, they're fucking dead. dead. <laughs> 
That's horrible. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, trigger alert, this is going to be a very heavy episode yeah. in case you, and we will in case our, you missed it. That's right. Um, and I'm not going to poke fun. <laughs> no. Um, it, it, but A lot of defense you laughter there probably you, coming your way. There you go. All right. So uh, on June the 12th, 1977, <laughs> uh, 137 young girls made their way to uh, the camp, the Girl Scout camp uh, in the Oklahoma area. I don't know, right. you know. Yeah. They uh were scheduled for 2 weeks of fun in the sun, <laughs> bonding and you know, crafts, all that good stuff. Yay. Okay. Uh this is the story of the murder of three young girls between the ages of 8 and 10. God damn. Uh they were also just a heads up, they were also beaten and raped Ooh. in the process of this. Um, so, yikes! All right, uh, two months prior to the murders, um, the camp was getting prepared for things. They brought the camp counselors in uh, to kind of do like a training, you know, tour, all that good stuff. Like, you know, just a, a little, you know, <laughs> prep work. Yeah, like uh, set up the camp. Yeah, set up the camp. You know, just get familiar with things, um, and. In that time, one of the the uh, camp counselors found her campsite ransacked, and her items had been uh, strewn apart. Uh-huh. Uh, her do- the donuts that were in the donut box were stolen. God damn it! No, <laughs> no. And there was a note left with inside it, left inside the donut box that said, um, "Let me see. I want to get the exact quote here because it's it's pretty pretty <laughs> fucking like." spot on um we are on a mission to kill three girls in tent one shut the fuck up i swear to god two months before the murders so they they find this note that says we are on a mission to kill three young girls in tent number one and drew a picture of a hanged man uh at the bottom uh, the, if you tell me that the girls actually got killed in tent one, I want to be so fucking pissed. Well, there's like, some, there's some arguments. And because, I, I don't. I'm, I'm jumping ahead. Like but. so, I I I read a lot of stuff. I, I did did my due diligence on this one. Some people said it was it said tent one. Some people said it said tent eight. There's some disparagement on because um, when this was brought to the attention of the head counselor or whatever, um, it was decided that this was a um, shitty prank. Because there was mention of Martians in the note, uh, the exact wording of the note is um, up for question. As the note was destroyed, never provided to the police, and none of the parents were warned before. Oh my god! The camp that motherfucker started. The finder of that note. Yeah. It's, oh yeah. Well, it's not her fault. Like the girl who had this happen to the found the note, she went to the main counselors, oh. and the counselors were like, they c- kind of talked to the other counselors and were like, "We well, nah, don't want to ruin is- camp." Yeah, because all right, so I thought about this. I thought about this quite a bit. I was like, you know, if you didn't know that down the road that there was going to be three young girls killed in tent one, right? Um, which would we'll, you- we'll see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, this is 1977. Like, kids scare each other at the fucking camp. There's all those, like, you know, yeah. creepy fucking whatever stories. Like, Jason. Like, a lot of people are like, is this the real Jason yeah. killer? You know, like, people on Camp the, Crystal. Like, nah, yeah. Nah, nah. Yeah. So, it was kind of, I mean, there was a lot of slasher <laughs> flicks coming out about that time. So, it's kind of hard. But put yourself in that situation. Yeah. Would you take it seriously enough to actually? Right. Yeah. But So, um... There's a lot to this story, man, where there's a lot of balls being dropped. Okay, right. So that's just the first. That's, that's a big one. Yeah. So, like I said, <laughs> on July or on June 12th, 1977, 137 girls moved to this go, into this like campsite. And the way that it's broken up is that the girls are subdivided into groups of 3 and 4 per tent, right. and they're basically in these circles, okay? The tents are all in kind of like a semicircle, okay. and then the camp counselor that's assigned to these subgroups is kind of like in the middle, so that they're kind of close to, you know, hear what's going on. So the the kids start arriving in the late afternoon, early evening. Um, the kids are told like, "Hey, 
take your stuff. This is the can't, this is the tent that you're supposed to go to go here, go here, go here. Um, there was actually a clerical error and, uh, there was something miswritten in one of the, uh, roster logs. There was actually supposed to be four young girls in, in the tent, um, that will be in question. But, uh, as it started to rain uh, around 7 p.m., they didn't want to have this girl jostle up and pick her stuff up out of the tent that she was in and move it, so she stayed in the tent that she was in. So, <clears throat> But the records, like the document, yes, the records it, There were supposed to be four, okay. not just the three, which I guess if you're, you're writing a note about killing three young girls in a tent... It was like, was it, were we just lucky? Yeah. So there's some, Well, that little girl some, that didn't get moved into yeah, that tent. That's Everyone has, in, when you read this story, like everyone that, that points that out is like, oh, this saved her life. Right. That's but, what, that's, but maybe it didn't. Maybe it killed the other, the other three girls. Uh, we don't know yet. Okay. Yeah, because, okay. So it starts raining around seven o'clock at night. At this point, it's not horrible rain, but it's it's pretty steady rain. So the counselors go around and tell everybody to write your letters home. You know, first night at camp, like write your first letter home. And the two of the girls in camp uh, in tent eight um, write basically like, Love you, mommy. Love you, daddy. Like <laughs> you haven't been there long. You, I thought you like write notes home. You're like, supposed to write like every day. Oh, okay. Okay. So like, this was, was supposed to be their first letter home. Okay. And uh, like, well, it would day actually, one was it would actually be their last. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't, know how, one, I don't know how to do this creepy shit. I know. You know, like I'm well, just inadvertently creepy. <laughs> that makes it creepy. Yeah. <laughs> so no, but uh, you know the. There's not much to write about on the first day home. That's what I was saying. Yeah, was well, like, but, weird. But one of the three girls um, wrote her the wrote letter that was found. Oh. Yeah, because they found all three they letters. They found them. Oh, um, shit. Said, I hate it here. Camp is terrible. Damn, first but, day. Yeah, first day. But every kid, a lot of kids hate camp. Homesick. You know? Yeah, like, fuck this. Why are you sending me off? And that's Damn. like that's like cheap-ass daycare. Right. You know, like send your kid away for two weeks. It's like parents oh, are like, yes, let's go make him a brother. Oh, dude, imagine how guilty the parents. Oh, fuck, this is horrible. Oh, okay, more dude, I start there's thinking so about much, it. Dude, oh, there's dude. so much. There's so much. All right, okay, all right. So they start writing these letters. Blah 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 blah. So, fr- sometime between seven p.m. and one a.m., the the rains pick up, get pretty heavy. Um, multiple campers um, hear a guttural growling out in the woods on the way towards the bathrooms Jesus. to the point where it scares some of these these kids and they go and tell some of the counselors. At one point, the counselors are like listening for this noise and they hear it and they're shining a flashlight in the rain trying to see what if they, know, the they can see anything and and they kind of they they kind of attribute this to being uh uh like animal bears. noises and and shit like that so <clears throat> the one thing uh that is interesting about about this whole scenario is that uh you know this is this is repeated by multiple witnesses and when one of the counselors who hears about this takes us back to the – no, no. This is the one where the counselor – she doesn't want to go and say anything to the main head counselor. Because she's hearing it, you mean? Yeah, because she doesn't want to be labeled as the the scaredy cat counselor. Well, I mean, you're in the woods, like – I mean, yeah. I mean, but it could be a fucking animal that's attacking that's, the kids, you know what, what I'm saying? Well, you got to check on the kids. right? No, 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 right. Which doesn't happen. Okay, right. I see what you're saying. So she's just like, oh, I hear animal growling. Fuck it. I'm staying in my tent. Well, if it's that close, yeah, you need to, as an adult, yeah. you need you, to check on well, that shit. You, I mean, it's probably a 17-year-old kid. Come on. Let's as the camp cool. counselor, I guess you signed up to yeah. take care of the... You signed up to be the first one killed. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. Note so, to self, never be a fucking camp counselor. So... so uh <laughs> and the really, really tragic one is that at one point the camp, the camp counselor hears um, uh, screaming and uh, whimpering uh, of one of a child uh, to the point where it's saying, "Mommy, mommy, 
Oh, come on. And she goes, she does take this to the, to the <sighs> head count camp counselor and the camp counselor says, no, I just ignore it. Don't worry about it. This first night at the camp that we, we see this stuff quite a bit. Oh, Kids are just homesick. It's not a big deal. So that's so fucked. So, yeah. Um, oh, Jesus. Next morning around 6 a.m., uh, one of the camp counselors <clears throat> gets a, an early start on the day and is heading down to go take a shit and uh, finds uh, one of the bodies of, oh. well, finds three sleeping bags, like kind of discarded off in the brush. Um, they thought it was just, at first they thought it was just luggage that the kids had Left not put or, put away yeah. before the rains had start. And she stumbles upon the half-naked body of, I think, the eight-year-old girl. Um, the <laughs> They didn't do. I mean, they're not. It's. It would turn out that she was beaten so savagely with a uh, blunt object that it left indentations in the skull, in the the face. But uh, the she was also raped, and then she uh, w- would end up. The cause of death was strangulation. Jesus. Yeah. So after seeing this, they don't bother with looking through anything else. They call the police. This is so much worse than Chicken Coop, just by the way, just for the record. (laughs) So even if it stops right here. Yeah. So the police, um, they show up. They think that they're coming for like one body. They're not real sure what happened. Uh, It gets there and it turns out that the other two girls that were the tent mates um, were found inside their sleeping bags, uh, also discarded. In the tent or in no, those sleeping it, it, bags? Yeah. They, oh. they had, so all three of the bodies were found 100 yards from their tent. Two of them were still in the sleeping bags. <clears throat> okay. Um, both of the girls in the sleeping bags had been had their skulls bashed in um, and were essentially killed inside the tent. Um, the third girl dragged out was dragged out and is assumed to be the one who was making the noises that were heard throughout the night. Oh, dude, that's awful. Yeah. That is so, fucking awful. So, uh, just ignore it. It's just ignore it. It's probably it's, fine. It's the norm. It's probably fine. I know you just heard animal noises and shit, but it's probably fine. Yeah, the animal noises is one thing, but hearing a child call for their mommy. I mean, I, I'm not again. Yeah, I seven, know. eight, nine, ten-year-old kids, like away from their parents, maybe for the first time, out in the woods. Shouldn't you comfort them, regardless? I, I, I would agree. I would agree that that I'm was just... that that might be a better choice. <laughs> um, it, it was it was said that um, one of the other campers um, recalls a man with a flashlight uh, coming to the tent to their tent, a different tent. Um, unzipping the bag, looking inside with the flashlight, and then zipping it back up and going along his way. Um, that child was so frightened that they st- all the children stayed inside the tent and didn't didn't move until morning. So um, to keep now, the, now that I, I get to for the camp to keep the campers calm that. the next day, uh, they don't tell any of these children what's going on. They take them um, kind of down the road to like a swimming area. And keep them occupied for most of the day while their parents are contacted to have them all picked up. How do you um, fake being happy after I, that shit? You probably don't. <laughs> yeah, the kids are like, nah, something's off. Yeah. So anyway, all the parents show up to pick up their kids. They have no idea. They just hear that there had been an issue and that they needed to come pick up their children. Oh. This is how the parents of all three of the, the young girls find out that their children are dead and then have to speak to the police. They came um, to pick up their kids? Yeah. They were not notified until they actually got to the camp that their their Dude. children's children were very brutally <sighs> murdered on the first night at camp. I mean, I know it's not something you really do over the phone. Right. It's an in person, <clears throat> but right. So, um, of the crime scene uh, things that were collected was obviously the the letters home um, to their family members, which were kind of chilling. Oh, dude, knowing I, yeah. knowing what uh, literally what, was what occur. Yeah. Um, there was also uh, blood print footprints um, inside the tent and inside uh, out on the trail uh, of a men's size nine and a half shoe. Um, there was signs that the blood was tried. They tried to clean up the blood in the tent because um, there were smear marks. Uh, like they tried to cover. Um, their... Yeah, and there was a. <laughs> Let me clean up the tent, but leave the body. Like, yeah. what are you well, fucking? Well, they they also found a long, 
black hair um, that was not one of the the victim's hair, oh, okay. um, which kind of come into play later. Um, and then uh, at the actual site where the bodies were found, they found a large red flashlight with a single fingerprint um, on the lens and blood covering the Damn. the flashlight. So that's the crime scene. So a hair, a a smear hair, blood, and a flashlight. Smear blood, but flashlight. they got a fingerprint. And a footprint. Footprint. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> fast forward. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's that. So yeah, yeah. We, we're a dark comedy podcast. I, sometimes, boy. Yeah, dude, there's, there's, whew, not, there's not a lot of fucking humor you can fucking, <laughs> you can fucking do with this one. Um, so anyway, the, the main suspect... The person who was suspected of these crimes um, was basically provided to the police officers um, by way of an inf- uh, a anonymous tip to the phone line. Um, they said the, the man who did the, the, the murders at the Girl Scout, uh, by the way, the, the camp closed forever on June 13th. 1977 after these murders yeah uh, i i can yeah see why done um which yeah i, I, don't, I don't know mean, who's gonna want to fucking t- send their kids next year to, we promise more security yeah next, <laughs> we want to send your kids to murder camp to murder camp right <laughs> yeah they may or may they could either be a witness or a victim <laughs> so yeah so anyway the, the police receive a uh anonymous phone call saying that the uh Suspect is holed up in a cabin not far from where the the uh, camp is. Um, okay, so this is a. I, I immediately go to okay, one of the counselors, but yeah, it, you know, is Girl I, Scouts I can, are they all female counselors? I, they didn't really say the. They did okay. So when they um, they basically apprehend the suspect. This it's been dude, almost this, a year. It's this been, guy, yeah, it's been yeah. ten months. So Damn. they did, they did their due di- yeah the largest manhunt in Oklahoma history at that point it was 800 people i believe were searching for the killer um, Damn. uh when this this news story first broke and you know i mean this is small town oklahoma you know these these motherfuckers don't mess no don't mess about right 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 so um, and i'm assuming the fingerprint they didn't have like a name or a face other than the, okay, so they ran they ran the fingerprint. And this is 1977. What right. so forensic science isn't exactly the tip top <laughs> of the fucking <laughs> right. you know spear or whatever. But um, they made some improvements. All known, they ran it against the FBI database, local databases, um, like just like incarcerate everybody they could they could run this fingerprint against, and it hit zero matches. Okay, right. Okay. So anyway, they apprehend this uh, gentleman by the name of Gene Leroy Hart. Leroy, yeah, who had four years prior uh, escaped from prison. Oh, jeez, where he was uh, spending some time there for rape and burglary. Oh boy, uh, there were some telltale signs in the the rapes that he had been convicted of. That was he a uh, pedo? Seemed. Seems similar to the details oh. of the rape and and things that had happened to these young girls in the in the Girl Scout camp. Um, he is acquitted for the murders. Oh, fingerprint does not match uh, his right. fingerprint. Uh, his foot is too large for the nine and a half for the match size yeah. uh, footprint in the mud and in the the tent. And um, he, while he was a he was running for four years uh, for uh, his what would be upheld convictions of 309 years oh, God. for rape and burglary and oh. assault. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, he visibly cried when he was acquitted um, for the murders of these three young girls in trial. Um, oh, thank God. Well, I'm still fucked, but... Well, right. So every law enforcement person associated with this case uh, was fairly well convinced that he at least had a hand in this crime. Hmm. Um, one of them even went to the point to saying to a local newspaper that he was a thousand percent sure that this was the, the responsible party. I don't be saying all that. <laughs> I don't. don't uh... So um, that's a pretty bold statement, man. So after after he is acquitted for the rape and murder of these three young girls, he is sent back to prison 
for the 309 years that he had on the shelf. Uh, two weeks later, he dies of a massive heart attack inside the prison Daddy, at the age of 35. Whoa. Yeah. Dies on the spot. Damn. So. Karma? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. So. so um, Leroy. Uh, yeah. So then they find the murder cave. Oh. Murder cave. The murder cave. The murder cave is located very close to the camp um, where the girls were killed. Inside the murder cave, they found newspapers and photographs. And on the scrawling on the wall, it had the date um, 6-17-1977. And it says, uh, the real killer was here. Bye-bye, fools. Uh. Written on the wall. Uh, the photographs, by the way, found in the cave were um, positively identified as photographs that were taken and developed by Gene Leroy Hart while in prison. And the newspaper that was found inside the murder cave had a piece torn out of it, rolled up, and was also found inside of the flashlight to help keep the batteries from jaggling around and making noise. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Leroy... Leroy... Hold on. Those, Gene Leroy Hart. But you said while he was in prison. I'm not, you lost He it. escaped prison. Oh, And right. was on the lam for four years. In the murder cave. Well, wherever. They found him in a cabin, but... Okay, right. You know, but he, he had he, clearly he, been in the cave. He, that is the assumption. Okay, right. Conspiracy theorists have said that uh, the sheriff, local law enforcement, had a, a boner for this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Uh, even to the point that they were trying to frame him, um, wow. and that uh, obviously he wasn't a good guy. I mean, I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but they that easy they, scapegoat. They uh, they they said that I think it was the sheriff at the t- the time even had those photographs were in his desk, um, and that he had uh, planted them. Oh. In, in said murder cave, like the mur- murder cave was like a, a staged a staged area. Oh, wow, that they used to. Uh, this is a conspiracy, a theory, right? a theory. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's the reason that this is a forty-year-old cold case file. That wow. is. In, so here is the reason that I, I am pretty convinced that it is Gene Leroy Hart is at least accomplice to the murders. Um, it said it was said that a confidential. Anonymous tipster was the one who sent the police to find him in this random abandoned cabin. Right? Right. Who the fuck would is, is going to know that he's there? All yeah, right? Yeah, that's pretty fishy. Then, then if you rewind the clock to two months before these murders happened, the note that was found supposedly in the donut box, it says, we are on a mission. Oh, right. Not I. You led with that. Yeah. It did say we. It says, we are on a mission. To kill three young girls. So, eight. one, tent one, whatever. Fine. Well, I'll, go ahead. Uh, you mean to chime in? Well, I mean, you can. If you want. Well, I, I don't have no rules. I, yeah, I know, I know. But, like, so the one thing that popped in my head was three girls, you know, if he was raping the one girl, you would have thought that there would be some blood curling screaming unless there was another person. To you know, yeah. Unless they were bludgeoned first, I guess. So so I mean, so, but yeah. it sounds so. In in what I have been able to, what I think happened was, I think that there was the they found the tent with the three girls in it. Mm-hmm. We looking for three girls in tent one, right. whatever. Found three girls, um, and. They grab the first one. She probably freaks out, screams, wakes up the other two, clubs the other two with the the flashlight, kills them, and then drags them out in the woods to do what they want. All three girls were sexually assaulted, mutilated. Yeah. So some probably post-mortem. Right. um, And then bagged back up and and left in the woods. Other people say that, you know, that these, these girl, there's three of them and they were out a hundred yards from the tent. There's no way that one person could have done this. Um, kind of quietly. Well, it wasn't very quiet. I mean, you've got downpour uh, rain all night. That's true. You know, so, but they do this to the point where, I mean, even 
eight, 10 year olds, you know, whatever, eight, nine, 10 year old, you know, camp counselors, whatever. Nobody sees it. Right. You know, even, even everything <clears throat> that's going on, they even got counselors who said that they were looking out into the, the direction of the noise. Yeah, they should have been looking out for tent number one, just in case. <laughs> well, I'm sure a lot or of that, all the tents. I'm sure that some of that just kind of like went out the fucking window, and they didn't. That wasn't until the next day that when they find bodies, they're like, "Oh shit, something happened." God damn it, that yeah donut fucking layer. Yeah. So there's there's some some discussion that it was a racially motiv- uh, motivated um, racially framing. Motivated framing of gene leroy uh, leroy uh he was a local cherokee man um who while he had been charged and convicted of rape and burglary and things like that um it was said that anyone who knew him knew that he was not a not a great dude um but what would, would <laughs> have it would have never Her crossed children. the children barrier I just think, I think that there has to be more than one person. Right. And with Leroy dying two weeks after <laughs> going into prison, it's kind of hard to... Well, and he was acquitted already. Yeah. So... You're not going to fucking say anything. So, I, I don't know, man. This is, this is a, like, I so I hmm. a majority of my research was, like, going backwards, like, back, trying to backtrack this first note. I was like, okay, man, there's got to be fucking details in this first note, right? Right. <clears throat> they're saying shit about Martians and weird stuff like that. All right. Yeah. So you didn't read that part. I guess maybe it's, well, the, you can't find the note. They threw it away. They br- like got rid of it. Oh, okay. So right there's after, no, okay. Yeah. There's, I there's, I mean, I've looked everywhere for like an actual. So they said word the words word. that you read, but they yeah. also like went on. Yeah. It was apparently like some, some weird shit. And that's why it was kind of considered a prank. It's because it, it got weird. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, I mean, that was weird. It's already weird. <laughs> yeah, but, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you bring up, Murder and then Martians, you're like, well, now all of a sudden people yeah. are going, you whack your, you yeah, know, this you, is ridiculous. This is somebody fucking with you. Right. This is ridiculous. So they ate your donuts and gave you a weird note. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Right. But, I mean, in, you know, <clears throat> the lens of history, it's like, oh, shit, that, no, that, that was probably pretty fucking important. Yeah. Somebody, if somebody had hung on to that, it was. Especially since aliens are real. So, anyway, the, the forensics um, labs uh, last year or the year before, um, actually started running some of the DNA evidence um, again Damn. from this case. Um, but it was found that it was too deteriorated wow. to positively identify any anyone. Um, while it will be said that in 1977 they did positively identify the long black hair strand as being Gene Leroy's. Oh, they did? Um, in, oh. in 1977, forensic science was not... Um, strong enough uh, or defined enough of a science for them to actually confirm that this was uh, right location, this X, Y, and Z. Well, okay. Um, but so. here's the argument. So if, if you know forensic science kind of sucks at that point, <laughs> you're, you're not going to use a, a single hair strand to try to convict someone of forensic if, if right. you're – in the law enforcement, you know what I'm saying? So right, that right, kind of right. like throws a lot of this, the questions about it, but there's a lot of weird shit, like the newspaper being in the fucking flashlight. Like somebody couldn't have backtracked that, you know, like the stage crime scene, they would have had to had that newspaper. Right. You know? Oh, right. So right, there's right. like, that's why this one's, I think this is the reason why this is kind of like a case, like that people talk about. I mean, it's fucking heinous. Like I get that people like, if it yeah, bleeds, yeah, yeah, yeah. it leads kind of shit. Yeah. But I think the reason that this one's kind of like, well, people don't like question marks, and there's a lot of it's question unsolved. marks. It's unsolved. Yeah, there's I mean, a lot of question marks right. in this case. Wow. Well, I think after listening, you're probably, I, my brain goes to where you do. I think, okay, so the hair was Leroy's. I don't know how I want to call him Leroy. Gene. Gene. <laughs> Leroy. The name Leroy. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but Gene, uh, his hair, but obviously the fingerprints and the foot didn't match because there was another person. That's that's one thing. And yeah. the other argument is, you know, that I, I don't know if I said this earlier. If I did, tell me to shut up. But um, the argument was that uh, there had to be more than one person because the na- the negotiation of trying to get these three kids out to the fucking 100 yards. Well, you had mentioned, yeah. It, but- 
but they're saying that like one person couldn't have done that. And I'm like, well, if two of the kids are dead, then you do something horrible to kid number three, and then you just get the bodies out there later. It takes longer, but it, you can yeah, do it. Like I think one person could most certainly do that. I do Especially, feel these like these are little kids, I, man. Yeah, you I do carry them. Yeah, I do feel like this is it. It makes more sense to my brain that two people did this. Yeah, which sucks because that means somebody got away with it yeah so maybe uh leroy made a rape friend yeah <laughs> and the, the i rape, shouldn't laugh at that that's fucking horrible the rape friend enjoyed younger uh, and leroy might not have been down the clown so to speak it's possible and uh didn't that's why he you know i'd really like to know if that's why were... his footprint this got weird for this case um and I, I mean, I can kind of see why. Uh, yeah, a lot of people covered it because it's not solved. Yeah, like it's still an that's, open. That's the only case, reason I, so. I can see that. The, it, I mean, there's a couple conspiracy theories out there. Um, the one that I thought was the most compelling is the fact that he was he was targeted for his racial heritage and uh, supposedly framed by local law enforcement. Um, but I'm like, he's got rape on his. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, they I, found I, the hair that yeah. matched his, or they, I guess they Supposedly. found it. Right, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, to, to me, there's a lot of things that, like, like the newspaper, that, I think that's what, like, triggers my fucking brain. Like, they found a newspaper in this fucking murder cave, and it just so happened to have part of it ripped out and was folded up and put inside the battery portion of the flashlight to keep to keep it quiet to keep it quiet and it, i mean i don't know man it just seemed very fucking weird yeah it is weird there's a lot of like little like in out details about this case where you're like well, what the fuck is going on and you know like there was another guy that was kind of a suspect for a little while but apparently he had like a an airtight alibi like mm. the guy who the cabin or whatever where they found Gene, yeah. um, belonged to this local Oklahoma Tulsa man or some shit, and that's where they found um, rope that matched uh, the rope that was found on the bodies. They found some tape, some other some other items at that the cabin. Were, were found at the cabin. Were also found on the bodies and at the crime scene. Now the guy apparently had like a like a spot on like solid ass alibi. And he was like, dude, my fucking cabin is out in the middle of nowhere. It gets broken into all the fucking time. Like, Gene was there. Gene was there. Right. But, it, so, I mean, there's a lot of, like, little things about this case, you know. Uh, you know, I, th I think I said this a few episodes back. When it comes to, like, murder investigations, one of the biggest issues is that there's a lot of things that fall into different buckets. Like, there's things that, you, you know, you when you're doing a, like an investigation on something like this, you've got things that are falling all into the same bucket and you're like, okay, this is my main theory. But right. then you have all these other pieces of evidence that kind of fall into other buckets. And you're like, well, I don't know how these pieces fit and why they're here. And some of them could be coincidental information. And so, but you know, you got Gene Leroy who died two weeks after being in prison. There's just a lot. That's why this case is 40 years old. Like the fact that it's still being talked yeah, about. Yeah, DNA evidence, forensic evidence can't solve it. Can't get us to a. Damn, it doesn't look like there's <laughs> a, there's an ending for this one. No, no. I I mean that's really where I was for you know you had texted me I guess a couple of days ago and you're like you ready for this and I'm like I don't know man like I've done a lot of digging and you know my brain doesn't like question yeah, marks I know, like right? I like to say hey man this is. If this is what I think, well, you like to come up with your with your own theory, and usually it's it, you're like, no, this makes sense, so this is my theory. But this one, you're like, <coughs> I, I mean, I think Gene Leroy had a part of it. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Um, I just don't know whose accomplice would have been because I, th I think there has to be an accomplice. Yeah. Well, yeah, and if there's not even another, well, yeah, dude. Yeah. Damn. So I think that's why I think that's a little bit I mean of course the subject matter I'm like fuck this episode but I, right. I also fuck this episode because it's just sitting in limbo for me. And tons of people have their own theories and I just eh, this one to me was just 
Yeah, I don't even want to go into conspiracy theory. If I was digging, I I would have tried to steer clear because I get it. You you know, you could always go like a cop has to meet a quota. They got to find their bad guy. Right. You know, but you know, you got a town that's up in arms and try to make people feel understandably so. Yeah. Do right by the parents. Yeah. But. And then you got this guy who's on the fucking lamb for 300 years. Who's a rapist. Who's a rapist. I mean, you know, those pieces could fit rather well. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where I land on this one, man. That's what I don't like. Because, I, mean, yeah. I, I, I mean, there's the the thing that I think is the most damning about it, besides, like, I don't give a shit about the hair. I don't give a shit about, you know, fingerprint. I don't give a shit about any of that. thing. The piece of the puzzle that is the most damning for me that, that Gene Leroy had a piece of this is that there were said to be signs that were similar in his previous rapes. Okay, yeah. That was were present MO. in these these murders. How, yeah, this, man. How do you get or, acquitted? Right, so. But what were the... You said there was pictures? So, yeah. So there was pictures p- of the... Of the of the um, no, murder site, no, no, oh. no. Oh. picture pictures that had been positively identified as being Gene Leroy's photos that he had taken while in prison and developed while in prison. That's where I got were okay. found at the murder cave. I got you. Okay, and it's it, I call it murder cave. It's not really know, a murder right, cave. Right. It's just kind of like that's, this was found, and it, you know it, it was date. The date that's on the wall is like four days after. Right. No, no, no. Okay, so yeah. I meant to ask you about that. That's where I got lost, but you cleared it up. Yeah. So okay. I mean, there's a lot of things in here pointing to you know to Gene, to Gene, but there's a lot of things pointing to somebody that ain't Gene. Which okay, so then well, I'm I'm pretty confident to feel like if it's two people, Gene was yeah. one of them, and there's a, another yeah. one. So maybe had Gene not died of a oh, massive heart attack it, two Gene. weeks after getting arrested and being only 35. Yeah, man. Um, that kind of screams conspiracy theory to me too. Yeah, it's one of 35, those. Thirty five. Thirty five is died of a heart attack. And, like, I mean, look, I know he's Native American, and us Native Americans have a, a tendency to have a bad ticker. <laughs> well, but you know, thirty five is young though. That's young, dude. I mean, that's like doing like rail after rail of coke. Yeah. And but I mean, it's not. It doesn't sound like he was living a real soft fucking life either. So yeah, right. Not really getting checked out by a cardiologist when you're on the run from the cops for fucking four That's years. True. And... Wow, man, this is a <clears throat> yeah, man. I mean, I knew it was going to be a heavy one, but it's horrible. Yeah, it's it just is fucking horrible. Like the way the parents found out, the way yeah. that the counselors were just kind of like, I mean, I and I don't, I, I want to fucking point the finger at the counselors, but it's kind of hard to. I started off doing that because I'm going. What? I mean, yes, I kind of agree with you. You know, they should be out there like Keep comforting the kids right. and, and doing things like that. But you know, it's it's hard to fucking. I mean, it's hard to say it's that. You it's know? easy to sitting right here in the basement, yeah, and the man. lazy boy going. Yeah. Well, if I was there, I would have fucking solved the case. Yeah, solved the case. Yeah, but I mean, I get it. It could have been it could have been fifteen murders yeah. <laughs> had the kids started slowly, yeah, going and walking out there. Yeah, I do think wow. that the rain is interesting because the rain obviously had to wash a fair amount of the physical evidence away. Yeah, but the rain also kept the campers in their tents and the counselors in their tents. I think there was, I think the the death toll would have been <laughs> significantly uh, higher had it not been a rain. Although they left the note that said three. And so what and, and there was some idea that they were how did they know there was they were be three per tent? They were shopping. See, I'm keep going back to this inside tent. How did they know there was gonna be three people in tent one or whatever, you know? I mean maybe one of the camp counselors was fucking Gene. Right. Gene Leroy. Gene Leroy. And they wanted to have a gross <laughs> fucking thing going on. Yeah. I don't I don't know, man. Yeah. I, it's we'll it, never know, and that is aggravating. Wow. Well, much more aggravating for the families. Oh well, yeah, I'm not, but, yeah. not doubting that. Yeah, this is a sad one. It's sad. It's sad. It, it's sad, and that there's no real resolution. No bad guy you can really point your finger right. at. Right. I mean, Gene Leroy, but he's dead. But I mean, you know, he could have not been the dude. Right. Like, he could have just. And then the other two dudes. Yeah. Because I still think there's two guys, even if it wasn't Gene. Yeah, I'd be I'd be curious to know. 
if there was a string, I'm not going to do any of this research. Yeah, um, we're done with this one. I'm done. Yeah. yeah like that's eh, kind of the part that I, like I ripped the pages, yeah. my notes out and just left them here. Cause I'm like, dude, I'm walking away from this one. Keep them out of my house. But I, I'm, Keep I'm them wondering the basement. if there would, you know, be similar MO cases of, uh, crimes like this like maybe somebody was like maybe it's like two dudes riding the rails mm. and you know they went on a fucking rape and murder spree across the midwest in 77 78 79 um and they just never got caught maybe it is one person and it's a serial killer who did get caught and just never got yeah it's fucking zodiac killer started right. out this way <laughs> right. he just changed his mo down the road right I don't know, man. It's sad all around. Like it's good sad suggestion, and, guys. Yeah, fucking charmer. <laughs> Thanks for um, no. I mean, I it, it is. It's, I get it's why sad. it was suggested. It, it, it's sad. Like I, I mean, I was about halfway through doing this research, and I was like, I mean, I understand why this is a case. Like yeah. I, under, well, I mean, I obviously understand why it's a case. Yeah, but I understand why a lot of people cover this one. Well, there's two different sides. People like the gore and the and the scary and the the horrible, but also it's unsolved, and people like you know unsolved mysteries yeah yeah well i mean i'm glad they do i'm glad i didn't solve this one for you because yeah. i gotta fucking rattle this shit around in my fucking noodle well the the first two suggestions uh have been fairly well, gnarly well here, here's the, here's the deal thanks girls like please for, for our sanity Let's back off the child rape and murder for a little while. Just for the suggestions, guys. Technically, the next two suggestions are already, you know, you they're know. already in the bag. But yeah, the the like, the one I don't know anything about though. So we'll, I, I don't we'll know. We'll see. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, uh, good stuff. You, no, your research was good though, because I mean, like I, I I I feel like it would have been too easy just to leave out some of those little details. You know what yeah. I mean? Which makes it more confusing, to be honest with you, and a little bit more aggravating that. Well, you don't have that any answers, but well, I mean that those not you, but those were some of the things I was digging into, man. Right. That's some of the fucking reasons that, like, you know, a lot of the times we got we go pretty straightforward with some of these, where it's like boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, right. And with this one, like, I mean, God, dude, some of the fucking things that I like listened to or watched on this was just like, I mean, it was it's kind of like an even split of like, you know, your basically like your dateline kind of thing oh, right or like the somebody who's like trying to go like way too fucking investigative right. reporter and i'm just like i'm like nobody's got an answer on this one but i was like looking for that one clue aliens i do yeah. i have the answer yeah it's aliens you, you just told us they're real motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> they're, it was in the note if there's ever a question aliens is aliens but no, I was I was looking for that like one fucking kernel yeah. of like somebody who said something in one of the you know one podcast or said something on one website and it was just a throwaway that no, you know other people had just kind of been skipping over because it's always some shit like that right. man. It's like that's why I was looking at the note. I was like everybody fucking disregarded this first note as a prank and bullshit. That was like why I looked at it. I was like, well, why does it say we? That already. Like, I think there's a lot more to that first note than what any, what people kind of because it, yeah. it's referenced a lot, right? But like, the we the we that, that's big that that says to me that there's multiple, yeah, and <coughs> not not one person trying to throw them off of the yeah. yeah yeah I think it's we they two people did yeah. it yeah so I feel like that fingerprint was staged mm. um, by the killer. Mm. Or ki- you know, killers. Well, there would have been two, right? If it was killers, but whoever masterminded the fucking shit, I think they put their their fingerprint on there as like a uh, calling card type thing. Hmm. That, that 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 would be my assumption. Makes you you you, you would have found more fingerprints. Right, 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 right. One fingerprint, one single a, f- a fingerprint, pristine fingerprint found that could be dusted and collected if all the other ones were yeah this, yeah, this and then there was like there was you know the now that sounds that the, sounds like the, the police yeah, well, police but, work there but then why would they not why would they put a fingerprint on there that they can't attach to anybody yeah right right you know right. like why is there a newspaper that was found why in the it? flashlight and then in the murder cave like there's a right. lot of like little pieces like even if they stage this to show that Gene Leroy is 
the killer when he wasn't. There's a lot of things that's like a lot of fucking details where you're like, well, if you, if that's the case, then why the fuck are all these other details here? Right. That that might like makes it worse. It's easier to believe that Gene Leroy is part of the fucking deal. Yeah. With another person. Right. That's I mean, it somebody sold him out. Yeah. You know. Well, I don't know. It's a head scratcher. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, dude, that's dark. That's good. It's confusing, but I'm glad we did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's over. Yeah, I'm glad it's over too. Uh, no, I mean, you know, the, I mean, obviously, we we scratch the surface on some horrible shit yeah. w- with this this podcast that we do in this show. Um, but this this, I think, you know, it's kind of like the Ramirez thing for, with me, you know, where I was like, you know, it, it, yeah, there's like when I fucking hate when it's just like like I don't get it. It's in the ether. Yeah, right. Like it's just the soup doesn't match the the. Well, with him, it was like okay, but we we had it. We had an ending. There was some resolve. Yeah. Okay, we know who did it. He, you know, this is yeah. how it ended. This one is like fuck. Yeah, man. I don't know. Like, like why did he put Hinter Kaifek way way back? Yeah. That was an that was a uh, no longer an episode that you can find. Oh, that's right. That that episode has been removed. Thanks might to nice. shoddy audio. Yeah, it might, <laughs> it might be nice to revisit that story. But anyway, I digress. Uh, yeah. That one, no, I, I felt like we got to a pretty good resolution on the Henry Kaifek, actually. Uh, yeah, you did. You solved it, remember? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I solved it. I had a fucking theory. Yeah. Well, that's what I think we said at the end of it. We were like, well, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> case solved. I don't know. All right. Well, this case is not solved, this but case I'm, is I'm not glad solved. it's over for us. Yes, yes, I agree. I'm sorry I, did, I couldn't... Uh, solve, <laughs> crack the case. Not, not, like, crack the case, but, like, provide some sort of, like cogent what fucking how could you yeah I mean, like i i don't agree with the narrative in 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 whole i yeah. i agree with portions of it but there's like even agreeing with the narrative that that's presented i'm dude i'm telling you that chaos book about charles manson's fucked up my whole brain <laughs> like it's fucked up everything about like the way i think about some of this shit <laughs> i want to read that dude you can barely read a fucking takeout menu i'll listen to the audio okay <laughs> audio book audio book <laughs> uh, dude it's worth, it's worth it but no no but it, like it, it it does i mean that not to like paint that the the manson thing in a, in a different light but you know anytime there's the hint of police cover up it yeah. kind of changes the way that you know yeah you look at something oh yeah, yeah yeah especially when there's like large question marks right like well, well, if this, then why this? And then this, this, this you know, the different buckets, man. Where, where, why are there all these loose ends over here and all these really pristine pieces of evidence right in the middle that lead you nowhere? Nowhere. Yeah. So. But this case, this case is an open cold case currently. 40 years, 40 plus wow. years. Um and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that there's shitty fucking forensic work back yeah. in the day. And, and, it's, and it's just science. Mm-hmm. Just science hadn't gotten there yet. And Gene Leroy died and nobody right. nobody went to go check on the campers in the middle of the night. God damn it. Man, man. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'd love to fucking point a fig- finger at a 17-year-old kid and say, why aren't you out there saving the world? But what was I doing at 17? Smoking weed and fucking... <laughs> Being not solving, yeah, not solving, yeah. <laughs> or, or, or you know, yeah, I wouldn't do any of this shit. Yeah, I wasn't fucking trying to save the <laughs> world. Shit. I'm trying to save my money to buy some more weed. Buy some more weed. <laughs> oh God, seventeen. You know, fucking buy out a liquor store. I didn't start that early. I was I was in youth group <laughs> at seventeen. <laughs> Dude, I fucking started way too early. Man. Yeah, man. That's why I went hard, man. I had to catch up. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't. And need, that's a whole other, yeah. We we don't need to tell any war stories. Now's a good that. time to wrap up. Yeah, good shit. <laughs> no, it was good shit. It the it was the story itself is like good shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Because that's yeah, yeah, it's interesting, but it's also just horrible. But no, yeah. you you provide us with good shit. Provided okay. us with good shit. Well, so I'm, I, I I just feel bad for the, you know families and the yeah. kids, obviously. Yeah. 
especially if not a not a happy no. story, kiddos. No. So stay tuned until next week. Meanwhile, I, get, I think the uh, moral of this story is: if someone provides you with a note saying what they want to do, murder wise, maybe take it seriously. It's probably not a prank. At yeah. least maintain the letter. Just keep an eye on tent number one, yeah, motherfucker. Maybe put the the letter in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> yeah, hang on to hang it. Hang on to it. Oh, in time will tell. There it is. <laughs> don't so, play with matches, kids. Yeah, don't. Play. <laughs> Did they burn it? Is that we said? Oh uh, yeah. No, they burnt got rid let... of it. They didn't say oh, okay. they burned it. In my I mean, mind, I mean, immediately I may, I may they have, burned it. I may have said, because they're in a camp, I figured they just I said, don't play with matches. You're like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, I was like, there was no fire in this <laughs> I episode. I thought that they burned the, now, I the mean, letter. I mean, I think if I said that earlier, I, I think that would, being that they were at a campsite, they probably uh, just threw it in the campfire. The fire. And like, well, it. I think so may, fucking... you may not have even said it, but that's immediately yeah, my brain well, went. So. Rewind. Find out if we said anything All right. about fire. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right. Good shit. Good shit.